Welcome to Access Water. I'm your host, Kate Peabody. As many of you know, the third week of February is Engineers Week, a program which focuses on increasing public understanding of engineering, as well as pre-college interest and enthusiasm in the profession. E-Week is CH2M Hill's flagship educational outreach program, and it is common to hear about employees from CH2M Hill offices across North America volunteering their time during E-Week. What you may not hear so much about is New Faces of Engineering, a National Engineers Week Foundation program that strives to promote the accomplishments of young engineers by highlighting their engineering contributions and the resulting impact on society. This year, CH2M Hill has two finalists and three semi-finalists of New Faces of Engineering 2010. Five enthusiastic, innovative, and hardworking young engineers who beat out thousands of nominees for this prestigious recognition because they are helping to make a difference through engineering. Today we're heading to Seattle, Washington, where we'll talk with one of the 2010 New Faces of Engineering semifinalists, the Water Business Group's own Melissa Wu, an associate engineer who is named a semifinalist by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Congratulations, and thank you for joining us today, Melissa. Maybe you could start by sharing a bit about why you became an engineer and what you find are the most challenging and rewarding aspects of being an engineer. I decided to become an engineer because I really enjoyed math and science in school, and it gives me the opportunity to solve problems and do something good for the environment and the community. I think some of the most challenging parts about being an engineer is really understanding all the needs of a project and then developing a solution that really helps the client. Um, every project is different and you can never use the same approach twice. Uh, it's rewarding to know that I'm making a difference and I get to work with a lot of great people doing that. One of the projects I'm working on now is for the city of Tacoma, Washington. We're doing an uh, alternative evaluation for one of their process units at their main wastewater treatment plant. It's been a really fun project. There's a lot of technical work involved, so I've been learning a lot. But in addition to that, it requires a lot of listening to the client and really understanding their needs and drivers and preparing all the information so that they can make the best decision that's right for them. You joined CH2M Hill about five years ago now. Was there something in particular that drew you to the company that still makes you think CH2M Hill is a great place to work? Yeah, CH had a great reputation when I was in school, um, so I definitely sought them out. And once I came in and got to meet the people, I realized that the corporate culture was fantastic. And all the people that I've been able to work with, it was a big draw to join the company. And of course, they work on great interesting and challenging projects. I've been a member of the APWA Wastewater Committee for the last couple of years, and I've also been an officer on the ASCE Younger Member Board here in Seattle for the last five years or so. They've both been great experiences, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone to join a professional society. I've been able to broaden my network outside the company and meet others who are in the industry. It's a great way to develop your leadership skills, I've been able to do that in a fun way um, and also go on technical tours and things like that that really help your career and can be really fun. I've also been uh, playing Ultimate Frisbee for the last nine or ten years. It's something that helps keep me balanced outside of work and home life. Uh, for those of you who might not know, Ultimate Frisbee is a team sport. Uh, you play seven on a team and on a field that's similar to a football field, a little smaller, but has end zones, and you score a point each time you catch the Frisbee in the end zone. It's something I really enjoyed. It's a great way to get out and keep me active. I've been traveling to tournaments regionally since I've been playing. I've also traveled internationally a couple times to compete in tournaments, and it's something that's been really fun for me. Well, thank you so much, Melissa, for sharing your story with us here at Access Water. That's all for today. Until next time, this is Kate Peabody signing off, asking, what's your story?